to everybody, Sky here, and I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and a what the hell did you get, bro? Um, I just got my copy of Neptunia V2R. Um, this came with it. I think this is a, um, yeah, it looks like it's a PS4 code, so I'm going to try to keep that out of the way just in case somebody could steal it. But um, this right here, this is basically just how it was with the... Um, with the um fucking the, the Neptune figure. This is like one of those clear plastic crystal things that you stand up. So that comes with it. Um let me open up the game. Did I say hyper dimension Neptunia? It's actually mega dimension. I'm so used to fucking calling it hyper dimension, dude. Sorry I don't have my shit set up i'm kind of in a hurry and i apologize for the lack of videos lately i've kind of just been super busy doing shit but um here is the front of it there is the side the memorial edition it's the limited edition that's the back it's the top it's the bottom it looks like it's kind of set up like the dark rose valkyrie i'm pretty sure the american version is going to be a a slide top. Oh, shit, dude, I can't get in here. Okay, so there's only two things in here. That's just some plastic, some cardboard shit. And, um, this is a box. I don't know exactly what's gonna be in here. Okay, it looks like. I didn't really look and see exactly what came with it. Oh, so there's the stickers right there. Yeah, that was the product code. So that's another cardboard. This looks like a um, OST or it's like one of those talking discs like I got with fucking um, with um, Genkai Toki. It's like one of those drama CDs. So these are some stickers. Uh, I may want to use some of these. I might put some on my PS4. Um, what is this? This is like a little bag, like a little, like a little fucking liquor bag or something. But it's just, it's honestly just a little bag. But, um, got that. And this is a notebook. I'm gonna open this up. It looks like it's, I don't think it's a rip of notebook that you can write in. Because that'd be kind of dumb. What the fuck? It's just cardboard. This is weird, dude. What the fuck is the use of this thing? <laughs> I feel ripped off. What the fuck is it's just cardboard? Unless there's something inside of the What the fuck is this? I've never seen anything like this, dude. Hold on. No, it's just cardboard. This seems really strange to me. I feel like there's supposed to be something inside of here, but um, what the, f this is the weirdest thing ever, dude. Why is there just cardboard in here? What the fuck, I'm, I'm like legit. Maybe, can you? It doesn't look like you could put, well actually, yeah, you can right here, you can like separate it. It looks like you can separate it and put more shit in. This is still strange as hell, dude. Who the hell would use a... What the fuck? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen, dude. I, do, I honestly do not get what this is for. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything that came in the box. And I guess I'll go ahead and... Oh, I should have been a little bit more prepared. Sorry. I guess I'll go ahead and open this up. Here we go. And let me grab that because there might be code on it. I think this is just like a posting thing. Ooh, dude, that disc looks sick. It's not reversible though. That kind of sucks. So this is them talking about the um this I think this is them talking about the figures. Cause those are the two figures that are coming out. And this is just a ooh, it has remote play. Cool. And I've been told that um, you can play this without the PlayStation VR. Um, that's probably going to have how I'm going to play it after I 
play it in VR for a little bit. But uh, yeah, so that's the unboxing of the Neptunia V, the Mega Dimension Neptunia V2R Limited Edition. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show the other shit that I got. I'm gonna segue into the what the hell did you get, bro? Oh, is this ripped? Motherfucker, it's not ripped. But the other thing that I ordered was this. It's one of the noir figures. This is the um, swimsuit version. I think this is the new one. Dude, I should have set my camera up. I was too lazy. Okay, so this is the first one. This is, yes, this is the kneeling version. So I fucked up and I'm ordering every single one of these. So this is the kneeling noir. And the other one is the exact same one as this one, but she's standing up. <laughs> and then they have another one that's just her in a different color swimsuit, which is kind of stupid. And I shouldn't have ordered it, but I don't want to miss out because if I don't buy it now, if I try to buy it later, that should end up being like $300 because it's not being sold anymore. So, um, ain't really no reason to open this. That's pretty much what the figure looks like. So, um, yeah, and I got the Ami Ami bonus, which came with this. It feels like a, it's like a little ass cover or something, dude. It's like a cover. I'm six foot three, dude. There's no way I could use this. This is like for a baby or some shit or just to like lay over a pillow or something. But this is pretty cool. I'll actually put that on something. But yeah, that got that. Um, I honestly don't know why I bought this. Because <laughs> when I figured out I bought this, I actually um, looked on Steam and they had this on Steam. But this is a brand new copy of Blood Rain for the, for the um, PC. I've been wanting to play this game for a while. So I went ahead and bought this. But I wish I would have bought it off Steam. But what can you do? I um, went to quite a few places. Um, I got this fucking... Uh, oh shit, I got the wrong one, man. Damn it. <laughs> when I wanted to I wanted to get the girl Splatoon amiibo. God damn it, dude. I could probably still take this back. Fuck. I cuz I was going to get um I was going to get the boy, the girl, then I think I was going to get the Pikmin one because I thought they were on on sale for like $8, but they were actually full price, so I put the other two back and I thought I put back the girl, but I fucking put back the yeah, I put back the, I thought I put back the boy, but I actually put back the girl, so, um, I still got the receipt, and I haven't opened this, but this was supposed to be the Splatoon girl, because for Splatoon 2, it's the only Amiibos that work on it, um, I went to the place Half Price Books, what the fuck, I don't even remember buying this game, <laughs> I don't even remember buying this Nightshade game, but I guess I bought it. So I got Nightshade. It looked pretty cool. So I was like, okay. Um, I got Catherine. Never played this game before. And it actually sells for like $30 still or something like that. So when they were selling it for $15, I was like, I might as well get that. Um, I got this Fatal Frame because I was like, why the fuck not? Um, it's kind of hard to find a complete one. Ooh, this book's been water damaged. It's all brittle and shit. Yeah, this has been water damaged. Fuck, I wish I would have paid more attention to that, but... So, we got that. Um, and then we got the Fate Extra. I seen this and I was like, okay. Um, but it was showing like... Try to zoom. It was showing like fighting and shit. So it's like, all right, man, that's that's pretty cool. I'll I'll try that out. So we got this Fate Extra, and then I got this Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Um, pretty. I love Lunar. I love Lunar Legend, and this is kind of rare to find. So I went ahead and got it since they had it for fifteen. And then I found this Silent Hill Book of Memories at the pawn shop for ten bucks. So you can never. There's like no Vita games. So went ahead and got that um the same place i got the amiibo they had this and loads of my fucking friends have been getting on my ass to play dang and rampa so i don't i was thinking about getting the steam ones but um everybody's talking about this one being pretty good and they had it on sale it's usually 40 but they had it for 34 and this shit must be pretty good because um it was kind of weird because when i brought it up to the cash register it was like a um 
uh, like like a, a 18. He was like 17 or 18. He was a Hispanic dude that rung me up, and he was like, oh, dude, that, that game is really good. And he was like, um, I already had both of them. Uh, I guess they were on Vita or something. He was like, I already had them before, but I went ahead and bought this again just to play them again because it was so good. And I was like, damn, man, my friends have been getting on my ass to play this game. So I finally got it. I don't know when I'll play it, but... <laughs> There you go. And then, um, last thing I got was, um, fucking Amazon had a PlayStation VR on sale. It was $100 off. So, the only thing it doesn't come with is, um, it doesn't come with the Move controllers. And I've already looked around, and they usually sell for about $90, but I know a place where I can go get two of them for $40. So, whenever I get some free time, I'm gonna go pick those up. But, um... I don't need the move controllers to play Neptunia VR because I'm pretty sure it'll use the controller. So, um, yeah, I got a PlayStation VR. I pretty much only got it for Neptunia VR, dude. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's all the shit that I got, man. And um, I'm going to have some more videos coming to y'all soon. Sorry I've been absent, but uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.